this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another flipped math learning video. Our learning goal tonight, please make sure that you write this down in your journal, is I can relate fractions to division. Our guiding question is by the end of this lesson, you should be able to show fractions as division. So strategies for fraction success in using fractions to show division, you need to remember that your dividend is going to be your numerator and your divisor is going to be your denominator. So we'll look at that in just a moment. For our vocabulary review, in this lesson we have no new vocabulary. So let's jump right in to showing fractions as division. So in the previous slide, I told you to remember that your dividend was going to be your numerator and your divisor would be your denominator. So in the example, 1 divided by 2, this is like saying you have one whole divided into two parts. So this would represent the fraction 1 half. If you look at 1 divided by 4, this would represent that same 1 whole being divided into 4 equal parts, which would represent 1 fourth. So let's look at 1 divided by 3. So let's look at a number line this time. We start here, and we have one whole divided into three separate groups would represent one third. The important thing about this lesson is that you have different ways that you can represent fractions and division is one of them here. You can use these regions, you can use a number line, but no matter what, I want you to make sure that you can see the image that comes with these fractions. So if I would just give you a number line like this and Let's go ahead and put in some key things. One, oh, hold on, that would be a zero. And this would be one. This, of course, would be one half. So if I put the letter A here, Okay, that divides it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sections. So A, C, B, F, E, D. So if I asked you to identify what was that point B, you would look and say 1 sixth, 2 sixths. Those are eighths, so one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths. And you would write the fraction three-eighths. Now before break, we started working on using these fractions and converting them to decimals. So if I wanted to know the decimal for three-eighths, three would become my dividend, 8 would become my divisor, add my decimal in, add a 0, 8 will go into 30, 3 times, that's 24, subtract, I get 6, 60, not quite eight, it will be seven times. Four, 
head to zero, and you can see this is going to go out to 375 thousandths. So the decimal form of this number would be 375 thousandths. So I went ahead and took one fourth to decimal form. The one would be my dividend. The four would be my divisor. Add a zero. Add a zero, bring it down. Four will go into 25 times. So my decimal form would be 25 hundredths. So I hope this video has given you a quick glimpse into how we can represent fractions in different ways, namely division. So anytime we see a fraction, we need to think of one part of a line that's divided into thirds. So think of this as the total parts in the whole. This would be the one that we're talking about. Have a great night, and I will see you in class.